So, for those of you guys that don't know, the final installment to Life is Strange is finally here. Episode 5, Polarized, just got released. Anyways, hello all you beautiful people. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Very excited for this final episode. I'm hoping that it's real good. Episode 4 left off with, like, such a cliffhanger. It was ridiculous. I've been waiting months for this damn episode to come out. Anyways... Give this video a thumbs up, leave some comments as the walkthrough goes along. We're just gonna jump right into this. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. <laughs> what are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I just realized our walk through this has been so crazy so anything, far. But your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? How are we gonna fix this? Here we go, guys. The final episode to Life is Strange. It better be crazy. I mean, there's no doubt our little playthrough so far has... We've made crazy decisions. A lot of people's died. A, a lot of things went wrong. But, we're gonna make it all right in this episode right here. Square Enix. Speaking of uh, Square Enix, shout outs to Square Enix because they did a real good job on this. Or like, not even, um, shout outs to Don't Nod because they did a real good job on this game. The story's been very solid. All that good stuff, all that good stuff, you know? Where are we right now? Obviously we're in the dark room. There's the camera, boys and girls. So we are duct taped. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Let's go move it up. There we go. Still knocked out, huh? How are we going to get out of this mess? We just need to go back in time. We just need to go back in time a few days and we're pretty much good to go. Oh, we have movement. She's awake. Chloe? What? Where? The dark room. There's nothing we could do. We're we're just out of luck. Is anybody out there? Please help. All right, all right. <sighs> Try to detach. Oh, that was pretty easy. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. <laughs> Almost. Okay, so we have a leg free. So with the leg free, we look at the tro 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 trolley, pull it towards us. From there, 
we grab the syringe, get high, and just contemplate how we got here. No, but uh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's look at the photo. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, let's go back. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. I feel like we should back out. Up oh, too late to back out. We should have looked at other stuff. All right, let's focus, focus, focus. There it is. No? We're almost there. Not really. Come on. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. This creepy-ass dude. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Yo, just kick him in the nuts. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Kick him in the face! Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. All right, we got to do something. Now don't move or this no. will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. Oh, so it's my fault, Damn, huh? Fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the shot. 
So we traveled back in time for the same exact results. And another thing, right? If the room is under 24-7 surveillance, does that mean he just saw us, like, teleport or do whatever the hell we did to go back in time? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Alright, in that case, uh, let's see what the I camera's like about. Smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. What's this? Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Wait, what? Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Alright, so that's what we gotta do once we get ourselves free, if we ever do. Wait, what's this photo? Whoa! I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. Let's see, let's see where this work. leads us. Please work. Focus time! Focus up. This episode's starting out so creepy, though. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. <laughs> you're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. <laughs> you will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Hmm. I mean, they're both pretty sick, right? But, nope, they're both sick. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, 
I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Is that what happened? Wait, what's this? Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. And he got the music on, huh? Let's see. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh no, this one. This. Whoops! Did not mean to rewind. Personified. So we got to get to the journal, correct? Max. Hold on. What are I we missing you here? See yourself now. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This one is out what? focused. Hold on, let me just rewind all the way then. That did nothing, right? So appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Hold on, what are we doing here? Whoops. Okay. Now, let's see how- Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson- Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Ah, so if you rewind all the way, you, you got options. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Got him. All right, now we can skip this, right? Now we can look at this and focus on that photo. When is the photo from? Wait, which selfie was this? I don't even remember this. Anyways, focus, focus. A little more. OK. 
Yep, whoops. Come on. Why can't we get that good focus? There it is. 